Well, boys, what's going on out there on the YouTube Express? Uh, love them knives here. Love them knives. Dude, this is not a knife. Ha ha. Ha ha. Yes, it is. It is. Okay, so let's just sh chill back to... I did a video a while ago. I mean, a while ago about the Wuben E61 Gecko. Okay, so if you guys remember this, let's let's go down memory lane very quickly. <clears throat> this one was very interesting because it has this uh, this mechanism that will allow this, and you click it. Click it or tick it, that seatbelt of yours, and here's a pen, okay, and then, uh, oh, never mind, uh, pull, okay, see that, okay, that just clicks out, and you could roll it around, there's an impact uh, piece with a ceramic ball or zirconium ball, that kind of thing, okay, did I finally screw that up enough for you? And then what's interesting is you can take this off and then they give you other stuff. Like, that's what you can use for your tablet. You see what I'm saying? That kind of thing. Or, unscrew that and use this as a scribe. And you could do that. Okay? So, you get those. But, um, this might have been the biggest hang-up about this item here and let's put the let's put the crazy ball on here again this impact thing um this was a pen okay so click and it's locked in place but see the the cartridge and it's very short because i mean you can't put a full length cartridge in here okay so they gave me like four extra of these but it's not going to last very long and i think some people were just scratching their head going What's the point? But, I mean, it will write, and uh, maybe you can buy cartridges that will fill, and you're just going to have to cut them with a knife or scissors or something to make them fit. Okay, I, I, you know, I get that. Other than that, what was interesting about this is here. You can pull this section out, and it will swivel all this way around, okay? And here's the actuating button here that turns the light on, okay? So you can turn the light on low, medium, bright. Or double click if you need to pull another citizen over to arrest them for not having a Wuben flashlight. And they need to suffer for that. But it's, it's, I mean, it's got the red and the blue, which is probably a violation of most laws because uh, you're impersonating a uh, first responder, whatever. So, nothing like that. Um, but, yeah, okay. Uh, don't know why they did the red and blue thing. It probably really not necessarily, although kind of cool. Uh, and then, basically, you could, I mean, if you wanted to, you could actually just throw this out, like, you know, almost like that. Um uh, so it would rotate around and so you could turn this on and you could, you know, vary what angle you needed it to be at to do what you want. And it's got a pocket clip, okay? So kind of cool uh, bit of kit and it's on their site and they run them around sometimes $75, sometimes $69, that kind of thing. So, um, okay, cool. Now... Here's the update. I know it took a long time to get through that, but here's the E62, and I don't know that they have a name for this, like Gecko or whatever, but this is the E62. So this is different, right? Because you can't pull that bar out that you could pull out here, you know, where you could pull this light bar out. This one does not pull out, okay? There's no place to do that. So it stays put. Now, here's the charging port, by the way, and a mini USB. And this one had a charging port, too, over here. You see what I'm saying? Right there. Um, so I think this light is pretty much the exact same. Okay, there's low, 
medium and high. So I'll, I'll take it outside and, and show you what, what it looks like. But high is pretty bright, okay? Uh, I think around 120, 130 lumens. Okay, so you can rotate through that. And then double click this. You can see how this lights up. Double click and of course, yeah. Yeah, you're under arrest. Yes, you are. Actually, you're going to be under arrest for having <laughs> this. But um, that's interesting. Okay, all good and said there, right? Now, where's the pen and all the little things for running my tablet and the scribe? Yeah, yeah, that's not here. This is here, right here. So this is kind of a scribe and or striking point here. Maybe could be a glass breaker as well. Okay, pocket clip. Okay, uh, what else? Now, here's the deal. Okay, here's the deal. What? Yeah. So, and I, actually, I've been using this. This is why it's got grody stuff on it. But it's, uh, it's a number 11 scalpel. Hold on. Let me get the Wubin stuff over here. And let's make sure I don't, like, uh, cut myself. Oh, and you know what? Uh, this one here, by the way, the old one, this was magnetic here. Uh, let me see if I got anything magnetic around here. Okay, right there. So that was magnetic. Uh, I don't see a magnetic piece here though. Okay. But it has this. Now you can actually pop the tail of this up. And then push it forward and you can take this off. This is a number 11 scalpel. And so, <laughs> that was good. That was good. Okay, here we go. Oh, too deep, too deep. Okay. Uh, so, yes, it's a scalpel just like that. Okay. Uh, do it again. Do it again without cutting the crap out of everything. See that? Yikes. Okay, so... Yes, it's a scalpel, and so you got a knife, okay? So you got a knife, and no, it does not lock in place, but it folds out. So I thought this was way cool for a couple of things. Um, maybe this fold-out deal, I'm afraid at some point in time might, you know, break or have an issue. So this does not fold out, so that's solid. Um, this is covered port here for recharging, and they give you the cable. And this is fine. This is a striking. It's not a pen, but, you know, how are they going to make it a pen? Um, they could have made a little thing and unscrewed this and put in a full cartridge and had this come out, maybe. Uh, that would have been interesting. But these, okay, so you go, well, where do I get another uh, number 11 scalpel? You can get one anywhere. Go on Amazon. You can get a whole packet of 20 or 30 of them for damn near nothing, like five, six, seven bucks, right? So, uh, and it'll be a long, long day before you're going to replace this like three or four or five times. But it's nice that you have that. So... I just thought it was interesting whether this is really the actually uh, the best way. I mean, you can see how I'm kind of lifting this tail up like here. I'm pushing it out, right? So then I can slide it forward and it's off, okay? So that's how you can replace it. I'm putting it over this. I'm sliding it back and pushing it down in place. That's holding it. I guess. So, uh, as much as you probably need to for what you're doing. And, you know, somebody might need a tracheotomy, uh, you know, a four-way heart bypass. And you go, oh, crap. What am I going to do? And you just take this out and then you're good, right? You probably saw an operation on YouTube so you could do whatever you want. Uh, so, I don't know. But it, it'll cut, okay? And so... Uh, obviously, it's a razor, so it'll do what you need it to do. Uh, it, so it's interesting. Um, they asked me for my opinion of, you know, what I thought. I, I said, I think it's really cool that you have this. I don't think you necessarily have to have, like, you could have had a little liner lock in here, that kind of thing. I don't know that that's that big a deal. Uh 
but this would have been interesting if you could have figured out how to do main uh do tip change out with maybe a full length uh uh pen cartridge or something like that but you know striking instrument um with a knife with a flashlight uh three different brightness levels and your law enforcement backup uh you know uh whatever uh, function uh but so it's way cool and it's like 60 something bucks 70 some dollars depending on whether they're having a sale and this and that and i clicked on their side it was like some kind of 10 percent off or do this or whatever so and you know something i saw also on there get a free dedicated leather case for it so okay um interesting so you may be able to get it with this because I haven't seen the E62 on their site yet, and I'll give you a link to their site, but the E61 is there. You can get this, which this is way cool on its own, in its own regard. You know, I like both of them, actually. Uh, you know what? One feels a little heavier than the other. Let me get my my scale out here, because you might be interested in that. Check this out. It's 1.65 ounces. This one's uh, 1.8. So it's a little heavier. I could tell that. Um, but, I mean, you do have where you can rotate around. Now, you got to watch this. This has come unscrewed before. Uh, last Christmas, I was visiting relatives, and all of a sudden, this was gone. This was just gone. And I go, what? And my wife found this tip in the carpet. So, um, yeah, make sure that's secure. And the problem is, do you really want to put any thread locker, maybe some really light thread locker on there? And then, so it still won't prevent you from unscrewing it and changing tips out, but to keep it from coming undone on its own. I never had any problem with the pen part uh, coming uh, loose, but that, that tip there. So interesting it's uh let's kick this out i mean you might and and you you can see the stats when you go to their site etc let's get this here okay so maybe 14 uh, centimeters long and about five and a half inches and let me see if the other one's about the same and yeah about it, it's actually a little bit longer um uh, but yeah just just slightly but yeah i can tell that it's a little lighter uh i don't know i mean if i had my choice between the two which one would i probably buy well this has got a magnetic function here so i, I mean if if that's important to you and then to swing this out at different uh different angles okay uh and you want all the functions of you know the little scribe tip uh this one for your for your iphone ipad or tablet type thing and then also the pen and the striking glass break or whatever so you want all that or do you think this is more uh intelligent because this is not going to come loose now that's going to be funky you don't have to slide it in and out you don't have as many moving parts and you have a knife you have a blade and a replaceable blade so you don't have to worry about sharpening just throw you another blade on there and have at it so uh let's take it outside and uh, see how bright it is okay outside with the wubin uh, kick it on real quick. Uh, they're slow. Medium. Let's get it focused. Okay. And high. Okay, let's rotate through again, low. Can't see anything. Medium, yeah, some. 
Okay. So. Hi. And, uh, of course, uh, <laughs> there's that. All right, what do you think? Um, I, they're bright, okay? They're bright. And there's some O-lights that are like the I3T, whatever, uh, that is, you know, around 130, 150 lumens. So this is nice to have. And, of course, the... Olight, you know, pen here, and this is the iPen Pro. But I mean, th this is yeah, it's got a pen, okay, with a full length cartridge and a flashlight, and it's got a pointer laser if you want it. But it doesn't have a knife on it. It doesn't have all these options. It's not magnetic. There's just a lot of different things. That, this is lighter. I mean, and let's let's do that if you want to actually compare. Okay, 1.2. This is definitely lighter. But you know what? Uh, it's just not quite the same Bailiwick. This is a true pen that happens to have a flashlight on it. Okay, you see? And it comes out this way. So if you have it in your pocket, you know, your shirt pocket is pointing forward. It can go hands-free that way. Uh, also, you, you push and hold there, and then you've got the pointer here as well this little laser thing so you can do that and a pen is that enough um you know this has three different levels of light as well but it has a striking there's no striking there's no tactical thing here okay so if you want tactical or you want to be able to do your your computer tablet with the little soft touch thing plus the pen plus the scribe and magnetic and you know all this and you want to be 5-0 you know as well and uh, then uh, maybe this is what you want so it's good that we have choices uh check it out follow my link woobin and this is the box that came with the gecko the e61 so there's your charging cable there's your extra tips there's your uh you know, instructions, your manual. So that was a nice setup. And I haven't seen the formal packaging for the E62 yet. So I don't know what that's going to look like. Might be in the same kind of box. All right. See you later. Just thought I'd talk about it because it might be of interest to you. I do. I dig these. I like regular, you know, but... These are tactical and have some cool functions like a pen and, uh, you know, I mean, like a, like a knife blade, okay, and the pen, but this doesn't have the pen, but this being tactical, I don't know uh, that I need a pen everywhere I go. Everybody's got a pen. So if I don't need the pen, then the tactical part plus the uh, knife, it's cool. Yes, we do, boys. We love them knives. We love them flashlights, too. So stay bright.